Okay, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add Minecraft objects to your scene. So I'm gonna show you the various methods of creating objects and getting objects and all that stuff. And yeah, let's get started. So the first method I wanna go over is getting objects directly from the set itself. So we can like duplicate it and stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, get this tree over here as an example. So let's click on the objects of the tree. So that would be our first step. Then we go into polygon mode uh, by click on this icon over here. Quick select, uh, sorry, live select. select like that and then we uh, only select visible elements let's turn that off so now you can select elements behind it and stuff so let's make sure we select everything like so and then we right click and we select split so this shall split our object into other um, objects so now as you can see we got the two objects here and it shall create two new ones leaves and wood so these are two new ones and that shall only contain the polygons of the um, uh, thing we split so now if you move this out you can see we have a separate separated tree so these two objects here and if you want let's now right click this ob these two objects and connect plus delete so now we have one object like so and we can name this tree okay so as you can see the point of origin of the tree is in a completely different position so we need to fix that so first of all let's disable the map by double clicking this icon on the top so this will uh, turn it off in the editor and the one below that will turn it off in the render so yeah so it's turning off in the editor so let's just click on the tree and go into polygon mode and let's select all the polygons so there's a shortcut for that so you click select and select all that shall select all the polygons uh, it should tell the shortcut right next to it. This is my shortcut. And uh, now let's zero out the position in the coordinates plane. So this thing over here, not in the attributes. That won't work. So you need to select this and zero it out here. Zero, zero, zero. Enter. And it shall position it in the middle of the uh, origin. So now let's um, zero out the position of the uh, object, like so, in the attributes manager. And now let's. Um, since we have snapping enabled, uh, quantize, sorry, let's go into our mode, modeling, quantize, enable quantize. So let's set this movement to 50. So now if you click and drag and we hold shift, we shall always move 50 um, uh, centimeters. So that's, that's what we set it at. So now let's click on this icon here, enable axes, and that'll allow us to change the axis of the object. So let's change it, so hold shift and let's move it right to the bottom of the, uh, the plane and now let's disable it and now we have a tree. So the reason why I have the axis at the bottom is so that it's easier to position the, position the tree. So if I have a plane and I like parent the tree to the plane, I just, all I have to do is zero out the position of the tree, like so and it shall be on top of the plane, so that's why I did that. Okay, so keep in mind you can use the same method to get objects from uh, various parts of the set. So say you want to get this lamppost, or you want to get something that you built in um, in Minecraft and you want to import it into Cinema 4D as an object, you can do that as well. So yeah, that, that concludes this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model complex blocks and stuff, and yeah, see you.